Now, debt is something that has, in many ways, become a constant in America. The buy now, pay for it later mentality. Our government has $14 trillion worth of debt, and that only keeps on growing. Credit card debt? I think we've all been there. But now student loan debt is becoming one of the biggest problems for young Americans. In fact, for the first time last year, student loan debt outpaced credit card debt. And according to the New York Times, it's likely to top a trillion dollars this year. And the complications are immense. This comes at a time when state budgets are being slashed, when tuition's going up, and Pell Grants are in the middle of a budget debate on Capitol Hill. The economy is in a recession. Unemployment is high. And now an entire generation has to ask themselves whether it's worth living the rest of their lives in debt just to get a degree. Earlier from our studio in Los Angeles, I caught up with Anna Kasparian, host of TYT University. Now, by the way, the Young Turks regular show, they've been nominated for a Webby, so we wanted to send our congratulations. But back to this topic. I first asked Anna to tell me what college students have been saying about this on the Young Turks TYT University show. Yeah, what you're hearing, and not just in the United States, but also in the UK, is that students are not only outraged by it, they're frustrated, and they feel discouraged. They feel like, you know, education is no longer an investment, because they're hearing all these stories about how tuition is increasing, they're taking out these loans, at the same time they're getting less for their money because of the fact that all these universities are cutting programs due to budget cuts. And by the time they graduate, they enter this job market that is terrible. They're not able to find work and they're left with these massive loans. And you know, the New York Times just reported that the average college student graduates with $24,000 in student loan debt. And $24,000 is actually a very small amount when you consider some other students, actually the majority of students, who graduate with almost $100,000 in debt. So a lot of students are now saying that they don't even want to think about getting uh, a graduate degree because they have so much debt by the time they get their undergraduate they don't, that they don't feel like it's an investment they're willing to make. They don't feel like it's worth it. It's, it's very depressing, too. One of the statistics that the New York Times noted, or not statistics, but just piece of information, is that a lot of these people are still going to be paying off their own student loans uh, when they're ready to send their own kids off to college. So it's something that's going to keep lasting. That's so depressing, but it becomes this double-edged sword. As you mentioned, it becomes so expensive that people start questioning whether uh, you know it's even worth it to be in debt for the rest of your life just to get this degree. But then if you look at the situation that our economy is in right now, uh, uh, unemployment is much lower when it comes to those people who have college degrees. So do students ask you on your show too, you know, for, uh, for advice? Do they ask you, should, do I go to college or do I, do I not go to college? You know, some students have emailed me and they've asked whether or not it's even worth it to make that investment. And I do think it's worth it, but students need to start looking at student loans differently. And they need to look at an education differently. The days where you get higher education and you get to study whatever you want just because it interests you, you can no longer look at it that way. You can't go to USC and major in philosophy and think that that's a good investment. That's one of the worst investments you'll ever make, okay? You gotta look at what the tuition costs are for certain schools. You gotta decide whether or not that major is going to make you money by the time you graduate. You have to think of it as a business investment. And I know that that's a really sad thing to think about, but look, you don't wanna graduate with a philosophy degree and $150,000 in debt. You're, you're gonna you're going to lose in the long run, you know? Uh, in the New York Times article, uh, they actually talked to Barack Obama, and Barack Obama talked about how when he graduated from law school, he had about $60,000 in debt, which, by the way, in today's terms is a bargain, okay? And he said that his student loan payments each month were more expensive than his mortgage. And a lot of students don't want to get caught up in that situation, and they shouldn't. And a really good way to prevent it is to really do your research ahead of time, make sure you know how much the tuition is. I went to a state school, and I loved it. I think I got a great education, and it was affordable, and I was able to graduate without student loans, and I was able to graduate, thankfully, in a decent job market. And I think that some students should really consider less expensive schools, even if it's not their first choice. Just look into it. Yeah, well, um, I'm, I'm with you on that one, too. I, I'm also from California, and I think that we're lucky in that sense, too, in California, and that we have good public state schools. I think the UC system is great, of which, you know, I was a part of, too. But 
it's really sad, right, that you can't go to college and study philosophy and mess around and do what you want and use those years to find yourself and just think anymore. Everything does have to be a business. But, you know, on that note, you mentioned that people really need to um, investigate what they're getting themselves into. And one of the things that I think is so underreported in this situation of student loan debt is that these for-profit colleges, these Kaplan's, uh, uh, University of Phoenix schools, they go for people that often, you know, might want night school because they have children, they work around their schedule, but these people are the ones that are most likely to actually not only have student debt, but then to default on their debt as well. You're right. Uh, for-profit colleges, uh have been investigated by the federal government a great deal in the past year and it is something that's underreported so I'm glad that you brought it up uh, just to give you an idea of how often students default on their loans after they graduate from for-profit colleges keep in mind that only 12 percent of students go to these institutions that that includes the University of Phoenix Kaplan ITT Tech DeVry all of these for-profit institutions that are popping up all over the country only 12 percent of students go to these institutions institutions. But you also have to keep in mind that nearly 50 percent of all student loan defaults in the United States are from students who attend these colleges. Okay, so a vast majority, majority of them graduate, they're unable to find work, and they're unable to pay their loans back. And keep in mind that a lot of the funds that these uh, colleges get are from taxpayers. It's federal money that is going into these colleges so they can in turn uh, give this money to students so they can be able to attend these schools. So it's your taxpayer money and I really like the fact that the Obama administration now is attempting to pass something known as the Gainful Employment Act which would basically hold these for-profits accountable if students are graduating from these colleges and they're unable to find work and they're unable to pay their loans well then all of a sudden the federal government is not going to help them with aid and i think that that's a really important regulation to pass uh... i definitely think that that's important because then unfortunately you have so much federal money going to these for-profit schools and at the same time we see budgets being slashed in states across the board and cuts being taken out from education the places where i think people could really use it anna thanks so much for joining us Thank you so much. Are you currently facing student loan problems? Then don't wait another minute to see if we can help resolve your federal student loan issues. It really is as easy as making a one five minute call. Find out if we can help you consolidate all your federal student loans into one easy payment. Lower your payments and even in some cases by much as 50%. Lower your interest rates, get flexible repayment options, stop harassing collection agency calls, and administrative garnishment in as little as eight weeks. Call toll free 1-888-888. 0777 to speak with a counselor now or for more information visit us online at www.consolidatemystudentloan.org